Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and uh, welcome to a new video on Cyber. We're back again. I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm trying to update Cyber every, every every once in a while. I'm not covering it a lot, uh, but it's. Um, I mean, it's only it's only a little bit over two weeks ago that we have that that we had that massive rally. Um, so yeah, just wanted to. I, I know that a lot of you are still in it, are still trading it, are still looking at it for some potential rallies or something. So that's why I, I just wanted to make a, a quick little update. So that's what we'll do. We'll talk about what's going on right now, what the current market situation is, and what to expect. All right. So basically, and hopefully, that is the goal. Everything you need to know. Before we dive into cyber, though, I do want to briefly mention that I have my own premium trading group as well, as you can see right here on Selenix.com, for example. Uh, in there, I post my own trades. So if I would go long, if I if I do think that cyber would have a rally, you'll hear there first. Uh, you also gain access to a chat room full of traders, which is very valuable, and my trading guide. Uh, so if you are interested in that, consider joining. Uh, but for now, let's uh, let's dive into cyber. So first of all, to start off with some statistics, because obviously we need to know about the situation of cyber if we want to know what it's going to do. So what you can see right here is that basically after Monday, when uh, when we got some volatility here, some some bullish momentum, the open interest, so the amount of positions being opened and the volume have basically been in a downtrend. This is bearish, all right? It means that there's not that much momentum for cyber. It's obviously weekend, all right? So in the weekend, less trading is, is being done. That is true, but still it is bearish confirmation. And it also looks more and more likely that Bitcoin will get some, some somewhat of a bearish confirmation here. So I would say the most likely scenario just with the blind eye is that cyber will get like right now it's being it's, it's finding some support still at around five dollars or like 4.95. It is most likely that it will break down below that level and then continue down to the area around uh, around 4.5. And ultimately, it depends a little on the circumstances in, in the markets, but ultimately also down to this level right here, around $4 and 4.15. So that right now fundamentally looks like the most likely scenario. Now, it's always possible for, for cyber to get some sort of a rally, right? Like right now, the, the most important resistance level, I would say, is $5.5. So if cyber from here is able to, to get enough support from $5 to break above 5.5, uh, and really break above that. So on the four hour time frame, break above the area, we'll probably see a bullish break retest and uh, and cyber going all the way up to $6 with the probability of, of going all the way up to 6.5 and 6.8. This is a realistic scenario. I, I want to stress that. It's just that at this point of time, it just isn't the most likely scenario. Like for, for something like this to happen, there's basically two ways in which it could happen. First of all, if Bitcoin gets very, very bullish right now, which is a possibility, all right? It really is, but it's um, not the most likely scenario. And I would say that Bitcoin would need to uh, break all the way above like 27,000 for this, which is pretty far away. Um, or if cyber itself is starting to show some more momentum, all right? So if like right now, like I said, the volume, for example, has been in a downtrend for the last week. If you see the volume increasing all of a sudden, like if it's, if, if, if it's up 50, 70%, and you see cyber getting bullish in, in with, with the price, then something like this is also possible. But that is as far away from the current uh, from, from the current circumstances as you can get. All right. So for now, that there's really nothing indicating this. It is always a realistic scenario. It is always possible. Uh, but for now, as long as the circumstances are like this, it's more likely to see the bearish scenario. All right, so that's still my take on cyber. If you do have any questions, then let me know as always. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.